So we're kind of paying for the fun that we had last night. And Philip had to help us source some tires so we could quickly, early in the morning, get the tires changed on the car because they're way too bad to be ripping on the Autobahn. No good. No good. And like, there's a good chance that we're gonna be too late to pick up my car, and tomorrow's the weekend, so. Fingers crossed. It's noon, we're three hours out, port closes at five. I think we got this. I am worried though that there's gonna be like some sort of dumb, no, like customs hang up BS at the port, and I'm gonna be stuck without my car. We're at a McDonald's and there's a legitimate coffee bar back here. How crazy is that? Rudnick and Tommy are literally taking an hour to order and I have no idea why. It was the easiest thing in the world. So I walked over and I was tears were rolling down my face because as soon as he started ordering, I saw the button to click English and both him and Rudnick ordered in German on the kiosk. Mine worked perfectly. I, I mean, it took you about 30 minutes. No, it took me about 20 seconds. <laughs> Got oh. my food. Mine's still up there. <laughs> Rudnick's still ordering. Um, mine was nice. Also, side note, apparently, uh, Finding good Wi-Fi here is very difficult. This is the best Wi-Fi we've had so far and it's still gonna take two hours to upload, which we do not have time to wait for. So this is why you guys haven't seen regular uploads here. Would you call those the American seats? The American seats. Boy. I think th this is where you're supposed to drink your coffee. This is a food table. You don't know the German rules. Don't front. You're gonna sit on that marshmallow? Grant, okay, what'd you do to my headrest? It went in backwards. It's stuck. I don't know why. You would think that. BMWs would, what? <laughs> Try and pull we've, been, it. we've been trying for 10 minutes and it still won't come out. I really don't know why. Tommy, dude, I already oh, saved it. You frigged us. Yeah, there you go. Frig. And I'm sweating because Tommy won't let me. Dad won't let me open the window. Dude, look, check the AC knob. It's on four. There's only one more. I don't care, two more. Dude. I'm in a bread box yeah. back here. Why don't, you guys, why don't you guys open the vents right in here? There's no vents here. Yeah, there are. No, no look. It's Why don't like you a guys build holder. some vents there? It's yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold this, Tommy. Sure, guy. You guys, you guys want some vents? I got no, you. Oh no, you're not. I got you. Okay, man. Give him the vents. the vents. Hit him with the vents. All right, guys. <laughs> the wires aren't long enough. Thank you. Is that better? Do they? What can you adjust shit, it man. down? Air. I'm actually getting hotter because you're doing that. All right. We'll we'll fix this later. We're six minutes away right now. I just want to put it out there that I have probably the lowest expectations possible. I feel like I'm going to show up and my car is going to be smashed up because it's low. Like the front bumper is probably going to be just destroyed. Probably not going to run correctly because, I don't know, it's just been a long time. I'd be surprised if the battery still had a charge. But more than anything, I just don't see us. Like I, there's going to be some sort of complication. I feel like the port people are going to want money or something even though it's all paid for and try to take advantage of us. And, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. Yeah. At least you won't be in this thing anymore. Yeah, hopefully. I just, it seems too too easy almost in a way. People just like drive my car in Germany like that. So I'm basically expecting it. It is kind of easy. Yeah. Like I, you're like played, like you have this little packet. Yeah. I, I just, something feels weird about it. So <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. I think we'll make it timing wise though. So that's cool. But I, I, I mean, I haven't driven my car in <laughs> probably like six months. So this is kind of exciting for me. Don't let my... You sound it. Yeah. I, I sound real excited, huh? This is kind of exciting for me, too. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I believe this is the office for the port. Um, mind you guys, like none of us really know anything about any of this. I've never imported a car or shipped a car to Europe. This is a very new experience. I'm in the importing-exporting business. Now you just get Streeter to do all your stuff That's for you. That's true. Yeah. But I was just joking. Shout out to Streeter. Streeter. All right. Looks like, car. is mine in there? I'm wondering. All right, we're going right on Colorado Straw. Dude, on top of the guys thinking that we're the craziest people in the world for shipping a car here for like three days. They're like, really? That's a waste. They uh, they have no idea if we're gonna be able to get through customs. Why? Because they've like never seen any of the papers that I have. They're like looking at me like I'm crazy, so. Jesus. So this might be a, uh, a waste. We'll see. What Stay tuned. I had to buy insurance for a month. Like 300 years. I would have been like, yeah. That way, that way. Oh, oh. Wait. This is a mega confusing mess. In Germany. Yeah. Trying to pick up a car that we don't even know if we're going to be able to drive to customs. <laughs> I didn't do that. This is the most confusing thing in the world. Am I lying? You're not lying. Dude, we must have looked so foreign. We're the only people not wearing these neon orange vests. And we got to wait for the car. And locals are telling us to lie and say we have a truck and trailer. And then we did. <laughs> they and they don't believe us. They're like, you guys have a truck and trailer? And we're like, and yeah, yeah, a rental truck. But uh, no trailer. So, so yeah. now we're, I guess it's just going to pull up or what? 
I guess. I don't, I don't really know what's going on either, to be honest. I think that's it. I think. Yeah, it looks yeah. a little bit like a ring tool. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Looks low. Wave him down, Grant. I don't know where the car is. Oh, that's exciting. I noticed the car's missing side splitters. They might have taken them off for shipping since I didn't get to see it. Um, don't see any visual damage with the car though, which is pretty cool. My own car here. I forgot about the shifter. It's pretty fancy, huh? Are you using it? No. Oh, nice. Yeah, look, my new shifter. We'll talk about this later. I'm going to need a front plate. Who did? The, the dudes that we just met. Great. He said make a copy of that and put it in the window. He said you would get pulled over immediately. Really? Yeah. Without a plate? Yeah. And they also, apparently someone wrote the VIN wrong, so they almost didn't let us take the car at all. So this is going to be a nightmare. <sighs> oh, that's right. I, d I should have brought an extra plate, huh? This might be the only time I ever get to drive my car in Germany. So Tommy, can you get an outside clip? Me Let's ripping it. it just right here at customs. Sure. I'm not going to rip it that hard. <laughs> Wait, you have the... Did you get the key out? I got the key. No, out of this. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm literally just gonna make a U-turn. Okay. Take this, running. As we're walking the streets of Bremen, I'm gonna go ahead and explain the situation. If you wanna join in at any point, Grant, I'm gonna walk next to you. Okay. Just so you can butt in with some of my empty space. Okay. All right, so, I could not take the car. I had to leave it there. There's a chance that I might be able to get it on Monday, but the problem is our track day is on Monday. So the ability to possibly get the car, I'd have to either get it, drive five hours to the track, which wouldn't give me much time, or have it trucked, which is gonna be logistically difficult. Why I couldn't get it from the port, apparently the uh, paperwork was incorrect. Yeah, but I forget who it is. There's like a, a freight trans, trans forward, a... freight forwarder did the paperwork wrong and didn't like do the paperwork for the exportation importation like you have to for a car that's just temporarily in the country. So that kind of screwed me over and the people that needed to do it weren't at the office and they won't be back till Monday. So, no car. Sad. I would be kind of bummed if this whole situation happened and the trip was kind of just me and I was banking on just filming all my content with the BMW but because all these guys came and we've just been having fun goofing off it's really not that much of a bummer uh, just obviously like it is kind of a massive waste of money and you know maybe I could leave the BMW here and come back but it's gonna be cold and I don't really have time and I've been doing a lot of traveling so I don't know if that'll happen just sell it but the BMW Sell it to somebody out here. We legitimately thought about either burning it or having Rudnick try to like, Rudnick was literally gonna take it and drive it through the custom. You realize you would've got shot, right? All I said was, if you hand me the keys, I will go and I won't stop. It was all fucked. And... No, it wasn't. If you handed me the keys, I would've been out. We would've been driving it right now, having fun. He was like, it's fast, man. They can't keep up with me. Dude, add a money LZ, let's go. Dude, Chris Party. Money, Chris Money Rudnick, you wanna go halves with me? I'm down. Dude, we'll get that shop that we were Let's looking go. at. We could build it, dude. Let's do it. Dude, SR. <laughs> VE. Watch out for the bikes, dog. Oh, no. All right, yeah, we're, we're being really ignorant Let's tourists right now. Yeah. How annoying. Guys, we're going to close the video out here. I don't know what's going on tomorrow. Actually, I do. We're going somewhere special. Special. Right? Yeah. We're going to do, do some fun stuff, right, Nick? Oh, <laughs> with me, buddy. <laughs> Later, guys. Yeah, no. Yet? No. no, I'm good. Well, thank I'm good. You. I also forgot to mention, if we want to end the video on an even sadder and more depressing note, my car was damaged pretty a lot from the shipping. Uh, so my roof has a couple new dents in it. That kind of sucks. Surprisingly, my front lip is intact. But oddly enough, I don't know if Customs like pulled out my rear factory amplifier to like see if there were drugs in my trunk or something. But my amplifier was removed, and there's about like three to four inches of water in that area of my trunk. So that's really not cool and doesn't make me feel great about the fact that it was shipped here. Oh, and my tablet that had my tune on it got stolen, so I wouldn't have been able to put my car on E85 anyway. Uh, yeah, so that sucks. I don't know what's going to happen. See you tomorrow. When you say